Hello and happy Sunday. And it is a rainy day here. So I thought it'd be good to look through stamps again. Um, if you follow my videos, this is where we left off last time. We found some really cool ones, particularly this old, old, 100-year-old six-cent stamp right here. It's an old airmail one. And um, I was pretty excited. But I found this at Hobby Lobby. It's... Um, just it says 150 unsorted United States stamps, and it says bonus over 100 year old U.S. stamp included a 1912 two cent Washington. So that sounds pretty interesting. I thought we would look through this. I'm going to. Flip this over. So, just a regular old um, American flag stamp here. This is Illinois. Very nice, uh, colorful stamp for Illinois statehood. Another one of these. I hope we don't just have a bunch of these. Uh, Porky Pig, Looney Tunes, the That's All Folks stamp. This is Equality Forever. I've never actually seen this one. It looks like a normal American flag stamp, but it's got the equality message on it. This is... Um, upside down. <laughs> I was like, what is that? It's just a Christmas stamp. It's got a, It's got a star on it. Another regular old flag stamp. Will Rogers, uh, Performing Arts USA. Another Christmas stamp with a Carol's whole horse on it. Looks to be 19, 29 cents, so when I was a kid. Oh, another one of these. Is this what they're going to do to us? <laughs> um, Christmas stamp for the Virgin Mary and baby Jesus. And a flower stamp. I guess those are orchids. Another flag stamp. It's, I don't believe I've seen this particular one. Here's an oldie. It's a George Washington kind of cruddy paper it's on. There's a forever stamp with uh, a star on it. I think that might, I'm not sure, it's a red, white, and blue star, I'm not sure what the significance of that is. Another forever stamp with a flower on it. And another one of these. How many of the 150 are just going to be this stamp, is the question. Digitalis, a plant and a heart medicine. A 
Christmas wreath, kind of a pretty stamp. Another uh, Virgin Mary and Baby Jesus, slightly different than the one we looked at. This is a Christmas 2014 with a snowman. Very simple stamp. Um, another view of the flag, slightly different than what we've been seeing. And yet another one. So we're getting all the flag stamps, which are your usual like first class mail stamps here in the States. There's another uh, flower stamp from this set. Uh, George Washington, the same portrait that's used on the $1 bill. This seems to be yet another flower stamp from that same set. Perhaps another one. Or maybe it looks like a different set. This is Christmas 10 cents. Uh, I would say from the 60s or Um, some carrots. Tins wanted to make an appearance. Okay. Here's a flag in the Statue of Liberty. This is a pretty one. Uh, this is sort of a metallic reindeer on this Christmas stamp. You know why there's so many Christmas stamps in these sets? It's because when they procure these stamps, they get them from people. Um, they pay them a small amount for their stamps. And most of the cards or envelopes that are saved are from Christmas cards. They People will often save them in the envelope with the stamp for a long time before cleaning house and then they end up selling them to stamp companies. That's why you end up seeing so many of these Christmas stamps. Oh, this is neat. Peppers and the, I've never seen this at all and I really like this. It's a vegetable series. I really like that.
here's an oldie a world war ii army and navy for defense two cents uh this is a world war ii stamp another frag and this one says freedom forever kind of matching the equality one Ooh, this is a pretty one. Watermelons. And it's a really pretty kind of folk art looking stamp. The old Liberty Bell. I know this stamp very well if you're... Um, It's a forever version of a classic stamp, actually. Uh, the one I'm thinking about was from the 70s and 80s, but almost identical. It looks like a Bob Ross painting almost. It's a, a barn with sort of a, a dramatic looking mountain or something behind it. It's very cool. Statue of Liberty. And get a sip of coffee. Another view of the flag. I think we saw that one earlier. Here's another flag stamp. And another George Washington. I think this is from the 80s or 90s. Another Christmas stamp with a Christmas train on it. Another Christmas stamp with the Virgin Mary and the baby Jesus. Even different than the other two we've seen. And for some reason, we got a Spanish stamp mixed up with these. This stamp is from Spain. And it is very pretty, but I'll add it in here anyway. Here's a old timey grizzly bear stamp. Another Christmas stamp with Mary and Joseph. And a Christmas wreath. Different than this other Christmas wreath. So we finished this whole panel and um, put it here. Let's start this next panel. We've got another one of these freedom stamps. Um, here's a snowflake, another Christmas stamp. Another freedom. This is a Christmas stamp with um, an angel on it. Here's an Odie from the 50s, Abe Lincoln. I'm just gonna trim it up a little bit. Um, another 
the flower stamp. View of the flag. Uh, liberty. So we have equality, freedom, and now liberty on this set. Um, public hospitals, the new one. Very neat. Martin Johnson Heed, 2004. Here's another uh, carousel horse stamp, and I think this one is from the old days, like maybe 32 cents, so the 90s. Here's an old domestic male, barely on there. This is from the old days. Virginia Statehood, 25 cent stamp. Oh. Some more of these guys. Oh, Franklin FDR stamp, Franklin Roosevelt, nineteen eighty two. It was his hundredth uh, birthday. And we got this uh, Three Wise Men stamp here. Got another Liberty Bell. This is um, some roses. One of those, like, you could use them for Valentine's Day stamps, you know. The flag stamp. Here is a nonprofit org stamp. That's cool. I can see very many of those. Thirty cent General Robert E. Lee, so fifties, uh, I think. Flag stamp. Rachel Carson, seventeen cents. This is a Hanukkah stamp with a Kermit cancellation, which I really like. So you can keep the whole thing right here. Uh, pets stamp. Um, cats and dogs. And another one of these. And 
it's a nice Christmas greeting. The Grandma Moses sort of style folk art. Statue of Liberty. The flag. This is a uh, Christmas, looks like. Oh boy, another one of these. I hope these shirts will become valuable someday because I'm gonna have a mint of them. Um, Oh, and we get a German stamp mixed up with this set. This is from Germany, a five Phoenix stamp. <laughs> New Mexico statehood, 1962 stamp. That's very cool. I used to live in New Mexico. Um, Virgin Mary and Jesus. I like this old timey 1950s ducks stamps. These are really pretty. There's two James Monroe stamps and half of a John Adams, it looks like. Another one of these guys. Flower stamp. Oh, look at this. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stamp. With the little, little dentist elf and Rudolph. Christmas ornament. Another one of these. <laughs> George Mason. Let's flip over the panel. Continue. Um, Virgin Mary and Jesus. The flag. Another flag. And a Santa Claus stamp. Another one of these. Oh my gosh. Um, I think there's a lesson to be learned from all of this. That I'll be getting to. Um, there's an old bread cart stamp. New Statue of Liberty stamp. Very neat. Uh, George Washington, 50s or 60s. Another flag stamp with some trees behind it. Oh my gosh. So many of oh, the fireworks flag. Uh... Pre-sorted STD. Not sure what that means. S. Generally, the acronym only means one thing. Maybe standard delivery. Helen Keller and Ann Sullivan. Huh. 
Let's see. Virgin Mary and Jesus. George Washington, again. Right under the last one. Flags with trees behind it. Slightly different. Firework flags again. Jesus and Mary. Flags. Abe Lincoln from the 50s. This is uh, Reindeer on Christmas night, which is really nice. Jesus and Mary. Oh, this is pretty. This is uh, Brian Canyon, USA. Oh, that's, a, that's an airmail stamp, too. Very nice stamp. A flower. Here is a bicentennial stamp. 1976. Another flower. Here is the Boston Tea Party. That's a nice dramatic stamp. From 1976. This is a French Alliance from 1978 or, or 76. This is U.S. Bicentennial, so it's probably still 76. Another Bicentennial. Someone had saved these, it looks like, and they all got bundled together. One of those old-timey airmail stamps. Uh, um... Here's a Santa Claus Christmas ornament. And another Christmas ornament. I don't know from the same... No, it's a different amount. It's just a coincidence that they're right next to each other. This is an oldie. It's... Um, 50th anniversary... of the trucking industry. So, this has gotta be pretty old considering the trucking industry started um, at the turn of the 20th century. Okay. Liberty Bell. Fireworks again. This is a nice looking folk art forever stamp. It looks like a, what are those Christmas flowers called? Oh gosh. Um, the name escapes me and I can't remember what they're called again. I always forget what these are called. But cats aren't supposed to eat them. That's all I know. Um, let's see. There's peppers again and some turquoise art. So this is kind of a southwestern stamp set right here. This is an Olympic stamp. I'm guessing maybe from the Los Angeles Olympics.
Additional ounce. I have never seen these. Huh. I've never seen these at all. That's cool. Another twofer. This is um, a Chippendale chair and a Tiffany lamp. This is a designer decor. Stick that here. Stick this here. Gosh. Um, another snowflake. And Whitney Moore Young, a black heritage stamp. Okay. Put this completed panel here. Continue. We got another firework stamp here. Um, this is a nice one. I remember this one from the nineties. It's like this tulip stamp. This was a very common stamp that we saw a lot. This is Frank Lloyd Wright, the famous architect. Uh, Mary and Jesus. A flag. And notice something. When you see a lot of flags, notice that the are attached to what appears to be a standard business envelope. That type of inside printing is to obscure checks. So one cannot see what's inside the envelope. To obscure checks and also confidential information. So you'll see a lot of these on, a lot of these forever flag stamps on business envelopes. Business envelope. Flag stamp. Okay, I'm so sick of these loud engines. This is becoming like a public like, it, it, it is, ever since the Fast and the Furious came out, so many boys are modifying their cars to have loud engines. It is, like, a public nuisance. Roger Dodger, USA Forever. I think it's fine to modify your engine for the joy of driving, but have the consideration not to gun it when you're going down quiet streets. You know, that's the that's where the problem is. Okay, uh this fireworks again. Oh my gosh, the fireworks. You're seeing that these sets can be a bit of a ripoff for six dollars. You're gonna get a lot of filler. A lot of filler. And they're gonna advertise that they have one old stamp in there. But you're going to be stuck with very few of this video. There hasn't been very many. A few, but not very many interesting or exciting stamps to look at. So um, that's the lesson to be learned from this. And here we have the very last stamp, which is the two cent. 1912 stamp right here and with that there's also a card uh, to get you to uh, buy a stamp collecting kit and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video um, I like doing these stamp videos and it also gives you an idea of the kinds of stamps you can get at the store so um, but it doesn't diminish my joy of collecting. I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time. Bye.